you for watching. For this video, I will show you on how to fill up or to accomplish the Dep and Prescribe Electronic IPC or F for the school year 2019-2020. But before I proceed, let me emphasize that the ratings which will be shown later is not final yet. I just made it as sample just to show you in how to fill up the IPC or F. First thing that we need to do is to download the form, but if you already have it, since I already have it, then that is great. Let the tutorial begin. Let's begin. So after you open your electronic IPCRF, this will be shown first. Please don't forget to read the instruction because this is very important before filling up um, the encoding in the part 4. The only thing that we need, the page that we will be encoding is or we will be in filling up information is the encoding and the part for for the part one and a part two and a part three informations will just be automatically um, recorded in, in in there once we have filled up the encoding part so here we need to fill up informations from right to left so the first one is region there will just be options of the regions where you belong, the region where you belong, division, the district and the municipality, school, school ID, school name. And for the school type, there is an option to, there is an option there to, it's either urban or rural, just have to select. And for the school size, small, mid, medium, large super large and for the curricular classification classification there is an option here it's whether the school has kindergarten or it has grades one to six for as for my case it's junior high so i and junior high and senior high so i selected grade seven to ten and 12, 11 to twelve and the next thing that we will do is to fill up the rater. For the rater, it is our school principal or a master teacher that has been authorized by the school principal to rate the rate. And for the position, you have to type in there the position of the rater, whether the position of the school. And then the date of review, the date when the rater rate the rate okay so let's proceed to the rate the rate will be the name of the teacher okay so in filling up your name it should start with your last name your first name and then your middle initial and make sure it's capitalized okay so just please fill in the needed information about you or about the rate and then number of years in teaching highest degree obtained and the area of specialization good job to us we're done filling up the upper part now let's proceed to the lower part and this is what will be shown um classroom observation tool from the first quarter to fourth quarter we need to have a hard copy of the classroom observation tool because the informations which will be filling filling in on this part are all coming from the classroom observation tool so as you can see here the objectives from the KRAs 1 to 13 is in here so all we have to do is just input the information we have on the classroom observation tool so here is my rating and for the date observed please do not forget to write first the year and then the month and then the date when you were observed okay and once you're done click lock cot1 and then you will be asked to enter to to fill in a password password has minimum of six characters so you can input there any password as long as it's easy for you to remember okay that's it Let's proceed to COT2 until the fourth quarter. Okay, we are done with the 
filling up of informations under COT1 to COT4. Now we will go to the IPCRF numerical ratings under this one is the quality and then effectiveness and timeliness. Now for us to rate this one, we need to have the guide, which is the RPMS tool. Um, for objective number one, it says here, applied knowledge of content, applied knowledge of content within and across curriculum teaching areas. For efficiency, for outstanding, we need, it says here, submitted at least four lessons using MOV1 and supported by any one of the other given MOV. So I guess I have four, so I will rate myself five. Chada and outstanding. <laughs> okay, so um, the same will go to objective two and up to 13, except for objective 10 because it has already a rating so no need to change this one or we don't have any option to change it so that's it so as you can see here for the adjectival rating and for the score as we input numbers or as we input our ratings the adjectival rating and the score will also automatically change so we're done so as you can see here my rating is very satisfactory yay and <laughs> for the approving authority this is not final yet and my rating as well is not final yet so once we're done just we just need to hit the finalized part one and then input the password we created earlier and then hit the go and then that's it password is incorrect so make sure that the password that you have chosen a password which is easier for you to remember and so let's try it again Chadan, yay and as you can see here the color of the page changes as we finalized as we finalized it go to part two which is the core behavioral competencies um, please read the instruction and after that you just we just need to check the button if we think or if I think or if you think that you have those attitude or you have those characteristics mentioned then just, just kindly check that one and later on it will be your your score or the equivalent number for this one will be shown on part one or part two i guess okay so it says here that your data has been saved um in case you forgot something or you think that the information you inputted earlier is incorrect so just click the unfinalized button and then you will just need to enter your password and then Shadan, finalize part one. You have the option again to change what has been um, what has been given earlier. Okay, so as I have said earlier, information inputted and in this encoding section will be shown on part one, and here it is. Yes, automatically shown. Ang galing po ng gumawa ng formula nito. Ayan, ayan, and my final rating is. Adjectival, very satisfactory, 4.38. Yahoo! 4.34. Okay, that's it. And the one that we have checked earlier for the attributes or characteristics, we have here, um, it's automatically shown in numbers. And, and for the part 3, um, the summary will be shown here. So, indeed... We are done. Thank you so much for staying and thank you so much for watching.